off right now. Yeah, looks like we're going to need the overlays to be swapped up because they're still showing the ones from the previous matchup. So try to get to these in a second. Yes, if you're watching right now, we are actually watching Marist College versus the University of Colorado, not William and Mary in Georgetown. We're getting that updated now real quick. Colorado is in the blue while Marist College is in orange. And it looks like orange is in the blue area right now. A couple aerials getting hit towards the goal and that was a great save. Yeah, actually I believe it's Colorado currently in the orange. So they are the ones trying to get the ball out of their own zone. Just looking at the CU. Clan tax thinks that's going to be given away. So far so good and oh, that's a great aerial and shot that can be blocked right out. An amazing save by uh, Marist College, just right on the goal line, just was able to take the aerial, and they're about to drive into the goal. Marist in the orange in Colorado territory, but now Colorado's seeking to get it back into the Marist territory. They're trying to press on offense right now. There's really sticking, both teams are really sticking to the air game right now. I'm surprised to see this. Yeah, it's very high level. You see this at the much bigger leagues of competition, and it's great to set up plays, set up passes, try to get someone coming in on a cross, try to get it into the goal so far. Neither team has scored just yet, and it's going to be a back and forth match, which is what we were expecting. I think one thing is these teams, they are not giving up the mid fight at all, which I love. They're not just sitting back in defense and hoping that someone in the goal will be there to save it. Instead, they are being very aggressive. They're trying to battle it out for those tackles. Exactly, and Maris just missed that score, but right now it's very pressured right now, and they're just trying to get that ball away from the blue area, try to get back onto offense as best they can. But it looks like Colorado's really applying the pressure, keeping it in the blue zone. And now, mm, and job. now Maris is back on offense, and now we're seeing the ball go back, and another block in the air, which is pretty good. We're seeing a lot of these missed shots, but a lot of blocks coming in from the air attack and not from the ground. Yeah, and I'm surprised we haven't seen any demos yet. There has It's been a 3v3 the entire time, so no one's been taken out of the engagement just yet. As you said, Colorado, I think they've done a much better job since the beginning of keeping the ball out of their end. They just haven't been able to put it in just yet. I think the risk is when you throw the ball up in the air, when you go for those aerial plays, there's always a good shot that someone on the defense can just kind of run up, go for that interception and get the ball back on the other end. Just like that, you see the ball now is going into the orange end. Oh, so terrific. But then it goes right back to Colorado. So it's just, it, there's been no team yet that's been able to establish dominance so far. No team that's clearly had the edge. It's just been neck and neck. Exactly. Not exactly bad offense, just really great defense we're seeing from both teams. Ooh, and a great save by Maris. That almost went into the goal. And as I just jinxed him right now, Colorado gets the first shot. And it's going to be a 1 0 lead with 205 left to play. And you see there, it's just an overcommitment on the defense. I've been talking about both teams have been doing, doing a really good job at playing at mid. There you see all three of Maris players go into the goal. They all try to block the same shot. At the end, only one of them was able to get it. The other two went all the way to the other side. And then when the rebound shot came in from Colorado, no one was there to block it. Oh, another shot another almost going in there. save. That was from Zebra from Maris. That was just an excellent, terrific on-ball defense right there. Yeah, we'll let's see if the defense picks up. It seems like Maris so far have now kind of gone into the defensive mindset. They really have had to get it out of their zone a few times and have never really had the shots. Now they've been able to get it all the way down the field. The question is, can they finally get the ball on net? And just like that, it is going the other way. Colorado driving with the ball, really trying to keep the pressure on offense. Almost had the score right there, but Zebra again with Marist. Just right there trying to make the save as Colorado just had a really excellent save right there too. Again, a lot of this defense, a defensive battle right now, we saw Colorado with the one score, maybe two? Oh, and it was another great save by Maris. Right now, Maris, they gotta just do more than hit the ball out of their zone. And now they're gonna lose a the player. There is the first demo coming out, but there isn't gonna be the follow-up. The cross is gonna be missed. That was a great opportunity for Colorado to get up 2-0, well, but just a slight miss time there. Now the ball is gonna be going the other way. Questionable decision by Colorado to try to expand their lead right there. And now Maris is on the pressure. They need to score right here with 45 seconds left. This is a best of five series. So Colorado's gonna, it looks like Colorado will take this round unless Maris gets ahead in the next 33 seconds, which is very, very possible. Because anything can happen in rugby league. You can score it at the very last second and tie the thing up. We've seen it many times before. 
Yeah, I've seen so many times where you get a goal and then you score immediately off the kickoff. Then your lead, uh, or, your, or I guess your deficit becomes a lead in a matter of seconds. But right now, Maris, they just have not had the attack. Their defense has been pretty stellar, but so far the shots have not been on net. They have not been able to get good follow-up plays. And now with eight seconds left, all Colorado has to do is play keep away. They've been playing pretty great defense throughout. And it's going to look like Colorado takes this first game. Their MVP of the game was Starvin. He had that one terrific goal in the beginning. The only goal scored as well. And he, as well as all everyone in Colorado, as you can see, had the saves. Maris had some, Maris had really great defense. And then, but it's just they need to score. And, and you look at the shots, it was 10 to three. So you're just seeing that the offense for Colorado was spectacular. They also had a great defense. I loved how they played midfield. They weren't over committing. They weren't keeping someone in goal the entire time. I think when teams do that, when they kind of turtle up or park the bus as a soccer term that's being used, you give up so much of the field. It's a very short field. And with how fast the cars move, it can be 100 to zero where someone's just all the way on the other side. And then immediately there's a ball in your net. And because you've kind of set up already waiting for it, you aren't actually going to be able to respond with how fast things can happen so great job there but it was a close one it was only one to zero um defense was great on both sides again it just comes down to Maris being able to get something started there were opportunities they had to get down the field they were able to move the ball a little bit it was just the shots they were not there and you can see that in the 10 to 3 shot score that we saw here come we're we're here at round two and it looks like Maris is back on the defensive side right now as Colorado takes the first hit and hitting it into their blue zone so hopefully we'll see Colorado probably show that same aggression on offense, try to get more scores, but we also want to see Maris get back on the defense, be more aggressive on offense. And that was a great play right there. You got one in the and back, you got one off. in the front. The demo is going to come out, and the demos have been, I think, in favor of Colorado so far, but that shot going to be blocked out for just another second. Exactly, and that poor, poor Colorado player just looked helpless on that, on that demo. And Colorado scored again. That was Starvin again. And he is starving. I'll tell you what, he is starving for more scores. Yeah, that was just a bit of an unlucky deflect. You see it go off one of the defenders on the side of Maris. Just bounces awkwardly off the side of the car. Weren't able to hit it at full strength. A great follow-up play. You gotta follow through of your shots. No matter what game it is, you always want to follow the ball until the end. You never know where it could end up. And Starvin, two goals so far. The only one who has scored in this series. He had the pass from Trix, gave him the little assist. You could arguably say that was a lob, and it looks like another e goal for Colorado. Just before I could get that thought off, Trix, I was just talking about him with that great assist to help Starvin. Gets on the board with the Colorado's second goal of the game, the third one of the match. And that's a dang if you do, dang if you don't right there for Maris. They didn't want to hit the ball too aggressively because it was already on like that line of going in and out of the net. So they played it very passively, but then Trix just runs in, gets that little nudge, is able to get them up 2-0. So already a much better start for Colorado. And now Maris, they're going to try to find an equalizer or at least get a little bit closer to closing that lead down. Looks like Colorado is just trying to get Maris' defense off their game. You know, the person who got demoed right there, he was guarding the goal and now the Colorado player just took him out so that they would get a chance to score. Too bad Maris was able to get the ball out of there. The two demos back to back. So now it is a 3v1. Z-Ball though with a great play in the air. The question is, will the team get back in time? Yes, they will. So that was a desperation play by DZ-Ball. We, we saw them earlier. Unlucky little tackle. Unlucky uh, interception that came out on the second goal. So Z-Ball making up for some of those earlier mistakes. But now you got to make sure the ball doesn't get into the net. But it goes to Starvin, Starvin once again. again. What an amazing score Starvin in. And that was just a great feed from Flover. Just lobbing it up to Starvin for the dunk, as we call it in basketball terms. But that was just a great, great pass. Great goal. Colorado up three at nothing. Uh, I talked about the crosses earlier, Colorado. They've been trying to do them all game. That was the first one that really connected before. It was just a few unlucky plays by Maris. Colorado, that was a beautifully executed set play. Now with a 3-0 lead. They can just play keep away. They don't have to be too aggressive on the offense, but when you know you've got momentum, why stop the scoring? Why stop the bleeding on their side? Just keep it going. 
Colorado making a statement. They were ranked number 11th coming into the season and against Maris, who is ranked number five coming into the season. And they're just making a statement right now, trying to get back up into the top ranks, trying to get back into the top 10. Yeah, and we know there's going to be a big matchup between Xavier and UTA after this. So one of these teams, they might be able to move up to the top four, or even the top three, depending on how that goes. But right Unreal. now, it's moving slower. There Unreal it is. Real score coming in from the top. That was just unbelievable by Clover. Now that is a beautiful aerial, just bouncing it right off the arena, being able to get it right into the net. A little bit of an overcommitment there on defense. They try to jump up for the ball, aren't able to get it. And now everyone on Colorado has scored. So even though we've seen one of the players getting the most goals, everyone getting a part of it, Flover says, you know, I'll take another one. Why not? Flover has two assists already. And now he, like you said, he just got his first score. And now everyone on Colorado each has a point, each has a goal. And Flover's been really good on the passing game. Obviously, he's been demolishing people. We just saw him demo Z-Ball. And obviously, each of everyone on Colorado right now is just playing like a team. Absolutely, they are playing like a team and they are playing a well oiled machine. Now, there's going to be a cross attempted. It's going to be a little bit too high, a little bit too wide, and the ball's going to go the other way. Is Z Ball going to be able to hit it? No! Just Man. jumped over the ball. And those are the kind of miscommunications on the side of Maris that have really plagued them so far in this series. Glover with the defensive epic save right there. That was just a crazy aerial getting there right on time to just stop that ball and now Colorado's just very much in control of this game they're gonna they're looking to shut out Maris twice in twice in a row yeah they're looking to get that clean sheet on goal there is still Another a minute 11 left and Clover. Clover yeah I said they wanted more there it is second helpings two goals five overall and this is so different than that first matchup colorado looks like they've really gotten going they're all warmed up now it was 1-0 it was so back and forth the first match in this series and now colorado are pitching a shutout as well as a blowout exactly maris needs to get back into the offense they just need to put more pressure on there maybe see another we haven't seen them do enough demos i think the demos have pretty much cut them off pressure yeah and there's another one right there you're seeing it that Colorado, they are not going to stop at any time. It doesn't matter how far ahead they are. They are playing pedal to the metal. You don't want to burn yourself out too early on. You still got one more matchup to go at least in this series. This is, as you said, this is a best of five or first of three, but whichever way you want to look at it is there are no draws in Rocket League, but as the clock is winding down, I, I would love to see Maris get a goal. Sure, it's still going to be 5-1, maybe 5-2 if you get enough time, and now it's going to be maybe, 6, though. You can't just six. keep letting them run up the score like this. Each player now has six goals with Tricks 2, Flover 2, and Starvin 2, making it up to six, and that was just a great play. That was just a great shot. And it seems like, again, they're, they're ready, you know? They're willing and they're able now. Colorado, they had, I wouldn't say a slow start, it was just very back and forth, but now they are really separating themselves. And again, this is a series, so Maris, they still got time. Maybe this is their time to warm up. You know, they can go for the reverse sleep afterwards, but I would love to see some sort of life because they have parked the bus and they have not been doing a great job at it. There is another demo coming out from Trix. Again, this aggression, it's just unrelenting. They're being relentless on both offense and defense. And at the very end, Maris tried to get a score, but Colorado denying them. They're just making a huge statement coming into this series. And let's see if they can shut them out in the third round. And the shots are a little bit better this time for Maris. They got six total, but then you compare it to the 15 that came out. So that is a 33% goal conversion percentage right now for Colorado. They are shooting at a very high level. You saw two aerial goals from one of their players as well. They are doing a great job of taking to the skies, finding passes in the air, or just taking it in as a single player. I mean, we've seen the team play, we've seen the individual skill from Colorado. It is looking tremendous. Exactly. Let's see if Maris can answer on this third match, trying to come back from a two to nothing deficit, see if they can win three in a row to miraculously take the lead and take the series. But all signs point to Colorado taking this thing. They had back to back shutouts. Yeah, and the, the first one again, it was 1 0. Second one, that's 6 0. So Colorado got cooking on the attack as well as a great defense. We know Maris can play defense. They did it very well in the first series, only allowing one goal near the end. The question is, can they get something going on their attack? 
You see, they're just passing back and forth. I would love to see the passing. Except a little bit. Oh, a great sidestep there. So a little bit of an overcommitment. And there's a demo. There Will they go. be able to get a shot here? They're starting to be a little more aggressive already. We're starting to see they're playing with urgency. That was a great clear right there. That's a great. That was a great pass to the man up in the air. So let's see if, what they can do to answer. Better get that safe. I think what I'm noticing right now, Z Ball is going like so far back defensively. So they're they're committing to basically a two v three when they're in their opponent's zone, which means there's one less person that can help you get the ball in. They, they sure you got someone on defense that can help once the counterattack starts, but if you don't have someone to actually mm. get the shots going on the opponent's net. It doesn't matter how good your defense is, eventually you will crumble. That's what happened in the first matchup. Z-Ball has been their best defender for Marist, and we see him a little bit get picked on. He got demoed a couple times, which opened up the scoring for Colorado. So let's see if uh, Z-Ball can stay away. He's been just tremendous. He has a, quite a few saves already in this series. We'll see what they can do. They just need to be more aggressive on offense. Let's see what they got. And they've done a great job of that so far. They are moving the ball into the other zone. Uh, I don't think they've really had any shots yet. They've just been able to move it. Again, that, that comes down to the two on three. It can be pretty difficult. And again, the demos, they have not stopped. Flover has hit another one. Flover is being relentless on these poor Marist University cars. But let's oh, see, they all had a wide open shot. Couldn't, was not able to take it. Yeah, again, the cross we saw from Colorado, they've been able to execute it a bit better. Maris, they had the idea, but they're going to be giving up the first goal. There's the counterattack. Sure, you got someone on defense. You see their Z-Ball was all the way back, but there you see... Oh, it looks like it might have actually been dumped in a little bit by their own teammates. So it looked Ricochet Tone... off of Tones. Yeah, Tones getting a little bit, and it's, it's just been those unfortunate scenarios where they've come back and they've... They've had players there for defense, but then those balls are just ricocheting a little bit out of their favor. And just now, we almost saw them give up another score, and that would have been in 10 seconds. So now, if you're Maris, you probably need to step up your defense a little more. You've been playing great. Z-Ball's been playing great. It's Tones and Cypher. They need to step up their defense as well so they can transition back into offense, get some points. They have not scored yet. And right now they're playing a 2-1 kind of formation. I think they really need to be playing like a 1-1-1 one, 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 or like just a 3-all where like they're all kind of in the same spot. But there you go. Like again, you just sit in the zone, you sit in your goal. And then when the ball comes at you that fast, you got split seconds to react in there, bouncing off a of Cypher, but not enough speed to actually get it cleared in. That would have been an amazing save by Cypher, but Trix made him pay for that. You just can't, you just can't sit on your goal. It might work in traditional soccer, but in Rocket League, things happen too fast, too furiously. I mean, I've made that joke so many times because, you know, it's cars, but it, <laughs> it's it, fast right, and furious. Is it is mean. indeed. In Colorado, they are not giving things up. There is the third one. That was one a furious. Just, just in a matter of seconds. It went from being an even game near uh, halftime, just being completely in Colorado's favor. And scored by none other than who else? So their leading scorer, Starvin, I believe that is five goals in this entire series by Starvin. I believe just, so, indeed. Just been relentless on offense, and this Marist team has just no answer of all these scores coming in. Yeah, that, that can happen. I mean, again, this is the first game after a very long break between the fall and the spring, so... Maris, they are still very high in the standings. I expect good things out of them. Just doesn't seem like this is their series thus far, but I was wow. gonna say, there, there's still a chance of a comeback, but as I was about to say that, we're going to see another goal come in. So Colorado, they are really making sure that they build up this goal differential, and they really also want to make sure they keep that empty net. That too. was just a beautiful area, aerial by Flover, hitting upside down in the air for the score. Still two minutes, anything could happen. You see that? That's a play that I I, I agree with it. You know, Cypher's like, there's no way I can win this ball, but you're just running all the way back to your defense, um, to your defensive part of the field, instead of trying to get any sort of attack going. And that is a mindset that may not win you games unless you're already ahead, when you're just giving up possession and not fighting for those balls when they're on the other side of the field. And if I'm, if I'm Maris, I need to give Z-Ball some help in the goal because what, what did I just see? We just saw Trix scored, and Z-Ball was the only one on. They just need to get him more help. Cypher was there too, but he just didn't quite make it on. 
Yeah, and it's just unfortunate. Zivol just said has been their best defender, tried to go out of goal to clear it, has been seeing a goal a lot of the time, so instead for us to rotate, try to go in themselves, wasn't able to do it. Just a bit of a missed time tackle there, and oh, there it is! We finally there we go. Maris come to life. So it's not going to be a complete shutout in the potential last game of the series. Marist, they are going to get one back. Question is, can they build up anything from this? They might not be able to come back. They might not be able to win this match or the series, but if they can just get a few more scores and it's going to be great for them going forward in EGFC. Z-Ball definitely making a statement right there saying that, hey, I am the best player on defense, but let me show you what I can do on offense. And now we got to see what Maris can do in this last minute. And another score by Z-Ball. Look at this. We might see a potential comeback from Marist trying to even this series. We'll see. They need three more scores in 56 seconds. Maybe they can do it here. What do you think, Jag? I, it's possible. I, I'm not going to say it's probable, but there's always a chance. I think the biggest thing they've done now is they've realized, you know, we're going to put Z-Ball on the attack. We're not going to stick them only on defense. Instead, we're going to have Cypher, it looks like, be more of that goaltender role. Now Z-Ball is actually the one back in net. But if they can keep that ball on the other side, maybe they can get one or two more. They need three more. So with only 40 seconds left, they're going to need about a goal every 10 seconds, give or take. At least some time to spare if they want to get that fourth winner. Now with only 30 seconds, it's looking less and less likely. And, and they need to clear it out of their zone if they want any chance at all. They need to play all on the ball. And it looks like Z-Ball almost had a wide open clear shot. But two Colorado defenders were there on the ball trying to interrupt that shot. And only with 15 seconds left, it looks like we might be shut, shutting out right, right here. So what does Maris need to do to get back climbing up in these ranks after this pretty bit bad loss? Except with Z-Ball really trying to make a last second effort. Yeah, that's a hat trick for Z-Ball. So five seconds left. If there's any way you can get it right off the kickoff, get two goals. Again, unlikely, but still possible. I think the biggest thing is you put, you put Z-Ball on offense. And I think you also change up your scheme about how you're playing your players and where you're playing them. Like your formation needs to be a bit different. It's a bit too defensive sided right now. And Colorado took advantage of that or winning the balls a lot at mid. It is going to be the end of the series. It is going to be a 3-0 going the way of Colorado. But Marist, they did show some life at the end. And Z-Ball was able to get a hat trick of their own. Three shots, three goals, 100% shot radius. So yeah, I, I think just give the ball to Z-Ball and then switch things up. Switch how you're going to be running your formations. Z-Ball definitely brought him back into this game, trying to give him some hope. But at the end of the day, University of Colorado, they just came out swinging. They were ranked 11th, but now they're making a huge statement in this game, telling them, hey, we deserve to be in the top 10. We know we're back in the break. We've improved. We practiced. And now you got to put some respect on our name. Yeah. One other question is, you know, Maris, they played one less game. So did that really kind of affect them? Like, did they have an even longer break than Colorado did? I'm not sure when their bye week was, but I know some teams had it at week eight, right before the fall split ended. So an extended break, it can be a little tiring. Even when you have scrimmages, it's not the same as a game. So we'll see how Maris recovers next week. For now, Colorado, they are looking on the up and up. We're going to be taking a very quick break, but when we're back, we're going to be speaking to a player from the University of Colorado. Don't be going anywhere. Stay tuned.
Welcome back. We are here with Flover from the University of Colorado. Flover, thank you for being with us today. Uh, with the first game, you guys started off a little slow going only with one goal, but then in the next two games, you guys came out firing with six and then five to close out Marist University. What, to work, what worked well with you guys coming in into those two games? Well, the first game is obviously when you're playing a new team, you have to kind of get acclimated to the way that they play. Um, and then going into game two and three, we just knew what to do to win. Just kept shooting, kept putting shots on net, and they just kept falling. So, yeah. Great. And when we were talking during that brief intermission, you said that you actually had some roster changes. Uh, your captain that was previously on the team in the fall no longer there. So how did those roster changes affect your play style? Uh, they actually didn't affect our play style at all. We... We play the exact same way, regardless of who's playing. Um, luckily, we had Starvin being our sub for the last semester, so he was very used to the way that we play, and it was pretty smooth transition. And I mean, you guys can see the results from for yourself. You mentioned Starvin as a sub, but he came in leading the scores. He had two, the first goal in the one game, and then the two goals and the. Uh, next game and I believe two goals in that next in the last game too just what can you say about his scoring ability and just his role on the team Starvin Starvin's an absolute monster every team should be afraid of him right now you heard it here first EGFC Rocket League be on the lookout for Starvin I got one last question before we let you go unless uh, South Beach Flame has any more but my question is you guys did a great job of shutting them out in the first and second match but in the third one there was a hat trick that was given up near the end, and it got a little bit dicey. Five, three, only five seconds left, so not a lot of time on the clock. But did you guys ease up near the end, or was it just that they switched up their style and you guys weren't prepared for that? We definitely did ease up towards the end. We didn't want to go too hard on them, destroy the morale. Interesting. Excellent. All right, well, that's, <laughs> that's all I got for questions. You got anything more, South Beach? That's all from me. Flover, thank you for being here with us. Thank you, guys. Coming up, we got another match. We got Seton Hall against UT Arlington, so stick around for that.